Well, love is in the air in Hollywood, and with so many celebrities about to tie the knot, apart from the ones we just spoke about who are splitting up, <laughs> there's a surplus of bling on the fingers of some of our favourite stars. So, here they are, the bold, the beautiful, and the ones that cost a bomb. <laughs> Don't be fooled by the rocks that they got. These celebrity engagement rings are the real deal. And with Hollywood in marriage mode, all eyes are on that fourth finger left hand. Recently engaged Natalie Portman's ring cost Beau Benjamin Millipier $35,000. It's eco-friendly with a conflict-free diamond for the committed vegan. Our favourite newlyweds split in 2005. Now they're both preparing to remarry only to other people. Nick Lachey proposed to girlfriend Vanessa Manillo last November with a rock worth 125000 while Jessica reportedly blew 100000 to buy her own ring when she got engaged to Eric Johnson. If eternal bachelor Simon Cowell's proposal came as a shock, so did The Rock, splashing out on a $400,000 diamond ring for Mishkan Husseini. For Kate Middleton, it was Princess Diana's ring that William popped the question with, with the sapphire alone worth $300,000. And she's not the only one sporting a coloured stone, with pink and yellow diamonds popular among the A-list. Ah, million bucks. Joining us now with more is Mondial Diamond Specialist Michael Newman. Great to have you on the show, Michael. Thanks, Good Larry. morning to you. Uh, are we seeing a trend trickle down from Hollywood? Do they do it big over there? Do we do it big here? Yeah, I think it's, it's pretty much like everything that you see in the media. Mm. Um, people see famous people get engaged, they, they like their style, they want to emulate the rich and famous. Okay. And, um, and <clears throat> coloured diamonds in particular, there's something different. Um, the A-list has taken to, to wearing those, those mm -hmm. different things and, uh, and yeah, so that definitely does um, trickle down to inquiries. And okay, take us through some of the most popular types of engagement rings. Okay, well people come to us to get something special and unique usually. Mm -hmm. um, so you have uh, the pink diamonds which are a unique Australian uh, diamond. Um, and they're very, very rare and very special, so I don't know if you can get uh, Just like this one. Is this a pink one? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's pink, pink diamond. Wow. Um, okay. So people generally, uh, they like to include something different in their engagement ring now. So this is a pink diamond as a centre stone yeah. for the yeah. ring. Um, that might be a little bit pricey for a lot of people. And mm. so then what you have is uh, this sort of style. This one here, this one here? Both of those are okay. perfect examples of what's popular. Mm -hmm. um, the the okay. white diamond in the middle. Um, with the pink diamonds as... Uh, as that's this one here, yes, wow. Yes, yeah, that's beautiful. We call that the princess ring. Carly, I have a taser one. pointed at your bum. <laughs> just put that down, just and in case. And a wallet in your pocket. <laughs> it's yeah. a security <laughs> issue. Well, this, this is part of the problem, the wallet in the pocket. Yeah. You know? yeah. Uh, what are the other problems? Because a guy will walk into you and mm. your mates and say, I want an engagement ring. Where, where, where do you start? Is it, is it money? Is it fashion? Is it what? Well, the first, the, the thing that you start with is the right choice of partner. So most guys have got that oh, right. Aren't you, yeah, aren't yeah. you yeah. wonderful? Yeah, no, but that's, <laughs> that's, most guys have got that right, and that's yes. that's part of the deal because yes. if they come in knowing more than they realise they know, if you yeah. know what I mean, so they already have an idea of what their partner will like. So they come in and they say, "Look, you know, I'd like to get an engagement ring, and and that's a wonderful thing." And so then we sort of guide them to, if they're not 100 percent sure whether they're more contemporary, more modern sort of person, okay. or whether they're a little bit more classic. And there are certain styles that uh, reflect those, those basic tendencies. How do you avoid getting the wrong band size, like trying to pick? Yeah, that's a lot easier than it, than it sounds. Okay. Um, guys can usually um, go and find a ring that their partner wears, and they can, we can guide them. They put it on their finger, mm. and they remember where it fits on their finger, so mm -hmm. it fits snugly, and then they come back and, and we get a finger size that matches that. The other thing is there are basic, um, people are sort of more average, more petite, bigger, and, and we can suss that out. Yeah, that's not as difficult as, as a decision as finding out the right girl. Finding exactly. the right girl that, is uh, finding the finger size. That's <laughs> right, exactly. The important question, how mm. much should a guy spend on this? Is it his four years salary? Is it, what is it? I, we don't want to put the Australian male under too much pressure. Right. Four years is a bit much. Usually, traditionally, it's been uh, two months is the figure, two months salary is, is the right? figure that people yeah. talk about, which I think equates to between ten and $12,000. Um, again, you know, we see variations on that. Some people spend quite a bit less, some people spend quite a bit more. Right. Uh, the, the thing more, is that... More is always best, isn't it? Yeah, oh, yes. Well, I tell you, it's, it's better is 
better is not always more. So okay. you know, I agree you, with you. You need to get something. Kylie, you, you wouldn't wear something that you thought was ugly. No. So. How, mu how much is all this worth? Here, like, what, what's your most expensive one here, Michael? Um, the dearest you, piece here yes. would probably be uh, this guy. Can I take it? You take that I'll out. I'll take Kylie. this one. Yeah, yeah. Have a look. Yeah. yeah. And, why is, and that, why is what, that one the most? Okay. What makes that so so special and and so expensive and valuable is the pink diamond in the middle. Yeah. Um, you know, pink diamonds are found in, in, only in that one mine in, in Western Australia at all intents and purposes. It would go beautifully with my pink. Oh, look it at it. Per, and it's it fits. Oh. Yeah, it's when perfect. Michael look. said, here, take this, Kylie, I'm not sure he meant take this, Kylie. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> How, much? How much? How much? Kylie's already spoken for, I believe. Yes. Um, are you looking for that ring about 85000 yeah. oh. See, I think... I, th I think that ring, Kylie, would very suddenly become available. Get it off, right. get it off. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Michael, God, it won't come yeah. off. Michael, oh, thank you go. very much. No uh, we were going to get Lindsay Lohan to co-host this segment, but we didn't have the security. To That's right. Did, yeah, you, exactly. did, you, did you get that on? That, did you get that? It's back in its box. Beautiful. Thank you, Michael. Um, okay. The morning show would like to help you at home yes. pop the question yes. this Valentine's Day. Listen to this. With a stunning Mondial one carat diamond plus an 18 carat gold ring desi designed specifically for you by award-winning designer Nadia Newman, if you propose to your Valentine on Monday show. So there's always a catch, Larry. Mm. If you're interested, head to the website, our website, and send us an email. Oh, this is going to be great. Very yeah. exciting. We want to be there right for you. It's a great prize. And as Michael just specified, Kylie has spent two months of her salary on that ring for you. <laughs> Ahead for thanks, Michael. Ahead for you, the high school student who looks set to join the Harlem Globetrotters. <laughs> First, though, here's Glenn with a way to recapture those youthful looks. <laughs>